obviously this event is large in magnitude. We hope this is a, a peak and an anomaly, and that this is not the beginning of a trend. If so, I'm not sure what we're going to do. This event started on January 12th. We've had over 177 animals that have stranded live and dead from Wellfleet, Massachusetts down to Barnstable. We've uh, been fortunate enough to be able to release uh, 53 of the animals successfully. The rest have either died or were found dead. It's, it's about as close as you can get to a mobile dolphin clinic. It's so we have kind of all of our equipment set up right here. We have our blood machines, satellite tagging equipment, ultrasound equipment. You know, these animals aren't used to, you know, having any type of pressure on their internal organs. So we line it with, with, uh, with mats here, foam mats, and we basically have four stations right here to fit four animals. We, if we can, attach satellite tags to some of the animals. You know, without this, we don't know if we're releasing animals, if they're just turning around and dying a day later. That not only are these animals surviving, but they're reintegrating into, you know, a group or that, you know, they're doing well. They're occupying known habitats. Uh, so we've got six tags that are currently transmitting. And um, so you can see some of these animals are quite far south. So all these animals were released in Cape Cod Bay. And now we've got animals that are off the continental shelf off of Maryland, Delaware. We have teams that are coming out at daybreak, uh, scouting the areas, trying to find animals. Go to the areas that are typically stranding hotspots. If they see animals, we'll be able to um, herd the animals out and into safer areas. We don't usually see the magnitude of what we're seeing with this event. Right now, nothing that's that's glaringly obvious and would indicate why this event's going on, or it's as big as this event is. The size and the scale of this has just been staggering for us and, and for our resources.